I hope you've been enjoying all of your days. Today, we got a big one. The NFL trade deadline is tomorrow. This means probably lots of teams are going to be trying to make some trades and stack up on their depth of their team to add more great players to help them win. But some teams, no matter what, how hard they try, can't win at all. But today, we had a trade. The Denver Broncos are shipping Vaughn Miller to the LA Rams for a 2022 second round pick and 2022 third round pick. What a deal. I'm going to be talking about this trade today. And I'm going to start doing this for every single trade. Major trade. But let's start. If I were the Broncos, I would not be making this trade right now. What I would do is I would keep him more. He's, his contract's going to expire after this year. I would re-sign him. Then when he gets a little older, then trade him. For second and third? Well, I actually, I guess it's kind of a good trade. A second and third round pick for him is pretty good. But for Von Miller, Von Miller is awesome. One of the best players of the Broncos. When you think Broncos, you think Justin Simmons and Von Miller. Von Miller's not there anymore. He's now in L.A. Now, why did he get traded? I personally think it's because of how much they're going to have to pay him in the future. His contract expiring this year. He's getting old. They want picks to get new players so in the future they can get new players that will be add to their team so they can be good in the future. And the thing is, the Broncos agreed to pay $9 million of his remaining $10.5 million salary this season. And it works out. That works out for the Rams so that they can afford... Von Miller. Because the Rams have no salary cap. If they had to pay his full contract, the Von Miller would be with the Broncos right now. But since the Broncos said they'll pay $9 million of his $10.5 million contract, the Rams could afford him. They have no salary cap anymore. They There's no way they can make another trade. With everything they have on their team. Aaron Donald. One of the best defensive players in the league. They have Cooper Cup, the leading receive the be one of the best receivers in the NFL right now. Andrew Whitworth has an offensive lineman. They have Rob Havenstein as another offensive lineman. They have Robert Woods and Deshaun Jackson, Van Jefferson also. Then running back, they have Darrell Henderson and quarterback. They have Matthew Stafford. This team, they got to spend so much money to get all this, these good players. And I'm saying this right now. They could be one of the best teams in the NFL. Now even adding Von Miller. Literally, that they this, one of the best teams in the NFL. Now, did they need Von Miller? No. Did they want Von Miller? Yes. Is it a great addition? Yes. Leonard Floyd is a good player. He plays the same position as Von Miller. Um, and then also Justin Hollins. So I believe Von Miller is going to take Justin Hollins' spot so that Leonard Floyd and Von Miller can both be on the field at the same exact time. Oh, let me add other people that they have to pay. Aaron Donald. Jalen Ramsey, Johnny Hecker as a punter and holder. And it was a great trade. They don't have any salary cap once again, but they got great players. Now, what are they going to do when these contracts end and they have to move on? 
They're selling all their picks. They traded picks for Sony Michelle. They traded picks for Von Miller. They traded a ton of picks for Matthew Stafford. They're going to have no picks, no super good picks for a long time. Maybe one first round pick and that's it. <clears throat> but I think they traded all their first round picks for Matthew Stafford. Plus Jared Goff. But Rams, great trade for now. This is a win. They are a win now team. They don't care about the future for right now. They care about winning right now. Bring home a Super Bowl for LA. The Broncos, on the other hand, with the sale of Von Miller, they still have a lot of good players. But who is going to play for Von Miller instead? When you look at their team, Malik, Malik Reed or Kenny Young, Justin Strad, Stefan Weatherly. I think the best out of all of those to play for him is Kenny Young. Kenny Young. Obviously, it would be Bradley Chubb, but he's on the IR right now. So I'd say Kenny Young. Or, if they didn't want that, which I think it's a huge downgrade from Von Miller to Kenny Young, they should go into free agency and pick someone up. Or, once again, they should do a trade before tomorrow's trade deadline. <coughs> I can tell there's going to be a lot of trades tomorrow. But, let's talk about Von Miller's opinion of this trade. Von Miller. He leaves Denver as the Broncos' all-time leader in sacks. He did not want to leave. And he was very emotional that they traded him. After they traded him, he posted on his Twitter saying, I'm emotional forever. And put an image of him in his Broncos uniform. This is a really bad decision for the Broncos. He still, when he retires, he's going to retire as a Bronco, obviously. And he's going to become a Hall of Famer. He's super good. And... I just still can't believe this trade happened. The Rams out of everyone? Like, the Rams are explosive now. And, once again, Rams one of the best teams in the NFL. Maybe even the best team in the AFC. I'm saying that right now. The best team in the AFC. And there's a lot of good teams in the AFC. But with how the Rams are doing, they've lost one game this season so far. And now they added Von Miller to this defense. When they already have Aaron Donald, Sebastian Joseph Day, Leonard Floyd, Jalen Ramsey. Unstoppable team. I'd be surprised what team beat the Rams. <clears throat> so now let's talk about his contract. Oh, let's just say this real quick. The Broncos drafted him in 2011 in the first round, number two overall. He's currently 32 years old. He's going to retire soon. He should. This is his last year on the con on this contract. And his base salary is $722,223. They can't cut him or release him because the cap hit is $722,223. So they have to keep him. Now, will they re-sign him or will they let him go to free agency? Either two things are going to happen. One, they re-sign him. Or two, he retires. Uh, he'll be 34, 33. Um, 
Use lots of players will want to play for a new team their very last year. The thing is, I don't think he's going to retire at 33, but it's a possibility. I think he's the Rams re-signed him to like a one or two year deal. And then after that contract, he ret he signs with the Broncos on a one day deal and retires. To retire as a Denver Bronco and become in the Hall of Fame as one of the best players ever on the Denver Broncos. So let's talk about his stats so far. So far this season, sacks, he has four and a half sacks so far throughout this whole season. That's pretty good. And, I'm sorry, I'm very confused with this. <laughs> but, he played a lot. He has no interceptions, no touchdowns, no safeties. Once again, four and a half sacks. And that's just for this season. Rams won this trade 100%. They're win now team. Broncos win later team. They, the Broncos are going to make some more trades. The Melvin Gordon trade away. Probably. Because he's getting older. They want picks. So they can get better in the future. Um, Tim Patrick trade. Um, I'm just saying right now. They're going to drain their whole team. And be horrible. But they're going to get picks to hopefully get better in the future. So once again. Vaughn Miller. He was very sad he got traded. But at the same time, he's going from a 4-4 four and four team, 4 wins, 4 losses, to a 6-1 six and one team. 6 wins, 1 loss. I think he should be happy. And he's playing with some of the best defenders in the league. Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. And now his team has a chance of making the playoffs. And he has a chance of winning a Super Bowl. Let me see Von Miller. Playing from laptop Q606. Um, how many Super Bowl rings does he have? He has how many Super Bowls? Has Von Miller one? Once. He made it to the Pro Bowl eight times. And he was the MVP for the one Super Bowl his team won in Super Bowl 50. So he has one Super Bowl ring. And probably the Rams are going to win. Super Bowl, or maybe not that, but make it super far. And I'm saying right now, Rams are going to make it super far. And there's a chance they make it to the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl is at SoFi Stadium. Last year, Tampa Bay Buccaneers made it to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl was in Tampa. This year, the Rams are going all out so they can make it to the Super Bowl. That is in their stadium. Go Rams. So in my opinion, Rams won this trade 100%. And I want to know what you guys think of it. Comment down below um, who won the trade. Was it the Broncos who got a 2022 second and third round pick? Or was it the Rams who got Von Miller? Once again, I think the Von Miller and the Rams won the trade. Thing is, they have no cap room now. They're going to have to make some hard decisions. Some people are going to have to take some pay cuts, possibly. 
But you guys let me know in the comments who won the trade. Who won the trade? If you were the GM, would you have made this trade? If you were the GM, would you be asking of more for Von Miller? Or would you even want Von Miller? If I, it was me, this is a great trade. For the Rams, at least. For the Broncos, it's okay. Because his contract is expiring soon and he's getting older. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Von Miller is now a member of the LA Rams. And let's wish him good luck. Spam down, spam in the comment section. Good luck, Von Miller. Rams, Rams, Rams. But that's one trade. And this is going to be the first of many videos that I will do on trades. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Smash it. Even if you didn't like it, hit the like button. Just for me. The more you like, the more I know I gotta make more videos. Please subscribe and turn on post notifications. We are doing this together. Football is the best. Now let's go watch some more. And guys, take a look at those trades that are gonna be that teams are gonna make tomorrow. Tomorrow's the trade deadline. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.